the metaverse explained for dummies. Hi everyone, in this video we'll be talking about the metaverse and trying to make sense of what that might mean for the average person in the long run. Make sure you stay until the end of the video so you don't miss out on crucial information. Origin of the word. Although there are many examples of metaverse-like systems within science fiction media, the term was coined by Neil Stephenson in his 1992 novel Snow Crash. In Snow Crash, the metaverse referred to a virtual 3D world inhabited by avatars of real people. In futurism and science fiction, the metaverse is a hypothetical iteration of the internet as a single, universal, and immersive virtual world that is facilitated by the use of virtual reality and augmented reality headsets. In colloquial use, a metaverse is a network of 3D virtual worlds focused on social connection. Components of metaverse technology has already been developed within online video games. The 2003 virtual world platform Second Life is often described as the first metaverse, as it incorporated many aspects of social media into a persistent three-dimensional world with the user represented as an avatar. However, historical claims of metaverse development started soon after the term was coined. Early projects included Active Worlds, The Palace, popular games described as part of the metaverse included Habo Hotel, World of Warcraft, Minecraft, Fortnite, VR Chat, and game creation platform Roblox, which has since employed significant usage of the term in marketing. So if you're a gamer, have you already been a part of the metaverse? Well, not really. The idea of the metaverse is the unification of the whole internet. Imagine yourself having played games like you are for testing the metaverse. What hardware would you need? The short answer is, most of you already have access to the metaverse, at least to some extent. Access points for the metaverse include general purpose computers and smartphones, augmented reality, mixed reality and virtual reality. Depends on VR technology has limited metaverse development and wide-scale adoption. Limitations of portable hardware and the need to balance cost and design have caused a lack of high-quality graphics and mobility. Lightweight wireless headsets have struggled to achieve retina display pixel density needed for visual immersion. Another issue for wide-range adoption of technology is cost, with consumer VR headsets ranging in price from $300 to $3,500 as of 2022. Current hardware development is focused on overcoming limitations of VR headsets, sensors and increasing immersion with haptic technology. What do people think of the metaverse? In February 2022, article for the New York Times, Lauren Jackson, argued that the metaverse is stalled from achieving scale by lack of infrastructure for both hardware and software, a monopolistic approach to platform development and a lack of clear governance standards. In December 2021, Raja Kuduri, senior vice president of Intel, said that truly really persistent and immersive computing at scale and accessible by billions of humans in real lifetime will require even more, a 1000 times increase in computational efficiency from today's state of the art. So in general, what is the idea of the metaverse? The general idea is a new virtual universe. A universe where you can play games, have work meetings, interact with others, and have it expand to such a level that everything you can do in the real world, you can do virtually. Thank you for watching this video. Show some love, and I'll talk to you very, very soon.